tonight on EL Now. Nollywood filmmaker M.M. Isong creps for a directorial debut in South Africa. Did the band just remix ruin Orisha Femi's hit track Dobu Wahala? We hear what industry professionals have to say. We check out the celebs on the red carpet of Chude Gideon's book launch. More from the Amas, Ellen DeGeneres' famous selfie mirrored African style. Also on the show today, EL now chats to it one stop singer Steven Streeter. We're hot to trot, it's EL now. Chief Steven Osita Osadebe, often referred to as Osadebe, hails from Atani and he's career spanned for about 40 years and he is one of the best known Igbo highlight musicians in Nigeria. Welcome to EL Now on this wonderful Wednesday. Today being midweek is our retro day and we have a high life legend as our subject matter on the package. Most people, especially the old folks, believe that high life is one of the strains of Nigerian music with a real connection to our core values as a people. Mm -hmm. To a large extent, this is considered a very relevant argument because the storytelling and instrumentals employed are all part of a larger folk heritage. They also believe that the foreign influence and the noise of pop music clouds the whole point of good music. I can't argue with that and neither can I agree, but you know, I think your reasons for making music surpasses the individual thoughts of people. Hmm. Guys, when we return from the news, we'll talk more about music from the African origin. Hi there and welcome. Our Nollywood stars are making things happen all around the world. We're talking of Nollywood producer M.M. Isong, who has made her directorial debut in the movie Champagne. The movie is currently being shot in South Africa. M.M. tweeted the news with a quick prayer. The movie is co-produced by Udwak Isong or Naman and stars Majid Michel, Alex Okubo, amongst other actors. Is the band in double wahala for his remix with Orisha Femi? Well, it's been mixed reactions from fans and music lovers following Orisha Femi's remix of the hit track with the Coco Master. Many have deeply criticized the band saying he ruined Orisha Femi's hit track and punches have been flying in the direction of the band asking that Ejanla should stop jumping on other artists' songs and ruining it. In the review by the net NG's Osad Ge Alonge, he says, just like the damaging effect he caused to Nyanya Skukere remix, Bangali goes in cluelessly, giving an ear wrenching performance. We don't know what's worse his lame attempt at acting or his fingernail extensions. Double ouch! Selfie alert! So, following in the footsteps of Ellen DeGeneres' record breaking Oscar selfie, Nigerians on Saturday, the 24th of May, bunched up for a quick selfie hours before attending the 2014 Africa Movie Academy Awards. In the picture, we see Richard Mufe Damijo, Kuli Afolayo, Osi Ukeje, Fred Amata, Uru AK, amongst others. So, apparently, Oscar selfie ass in with the Alma selfie. EL now at the red carpet of author Chude Gideon's book launch for Are We the Turning Point Generation? The thought-provoking book details a collection of essays written by renowned entrepreneur and young leader Chude Gidiowo, and the occasion was chaired by the former World Bank president, Dr. Obiageli Ezekwesili. Stars in attendance were Toke Makinwa, Vector, Abike Dabiri, Julius Agu, Fumi Yanda, as well as Ebony Live TV CEO, Mo Abudu. And that's a wrap. Hop on down to our webpage on ebonylivetv.com forward slash EL now. Coming up, he's black, He's a trailblazer and he played the music game for 40 years. Check out Osadebe on Retro. And on this day in history, Egyptian Nigerian singer Iris makes her debut in the music game with a hit track. This is EL Now. <laughs> Thank you. 